Ciao Italia, ciao Marco, hello. Ciao, buongiorno a tutti. Buongiorno. Ah, sì, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Ah, oh, scusa. It sounds more beautiful when you say it. No, not at all. I don't like when I am speak. Why? But listening to my voice. It's beautiful. You know? No, it's like uh, vocal messages. Mm. I don't like it. It's interesting because your voice is soothing. It's like the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> He disagrees. But, but when I'm singing. Mm, but, the power. Yeah, it's better when I, when I sing. I like my voice, but... When I'm talking, I don't like really my tone of voice, my timbre. Mm, you just gotta believe in yourself, babe. I have to work a lot, maybe <laughs> more, more <laughs> than what I did. What I did. But I want to talk about Eurovision because ten years ago you were here. You did so well. You won over many non-Italian fans, people abroad. They stayed with you. Do you feel that? Yes, absolutely. Well, it was really, really long time ago. Mm. You were a boy. Ten years ago, yeah. I was very young. Uh, I didn't really enjoy the, every moment of your vision of the event. Uh, I don't know why. Was it the pressure? I was, no, I was so stupid, maybe, at that time. But now... I grew up, <laughs> uh, and I'm back. But after that, uh, I'm starting to play out of Italy, so it was incredible. Yeah, I'm still here. You didn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to ask you, what's the difference performing to an Italian audience and, say, a British audience here in Liverpool? <sighs> oh my God. Uh, But it depends if you are in your own tour. Mm -hmm. It's like people are going from every part of Italy to watch you and uh, bought tickets to watch you. So uh, it's of course different. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's normal. And, and maybe here in this arena, people are going for every one of us so True. it's it's a bit different but mm, special uh, at the same time mm. what's also special is your song do a vite two lives we spoke on the red carpet but it was very loud so let's clarify now what is the story of the song it's a very deep story <laughs> uh, um, i said before uh, i work a lot of my thoughts and my emotions with my psychology and i decided to dedicate this song to this relationship this strange relationship between the my conscious and unconscious mind you know and tonight uh, some part of our brain are more active and and i think is it's very cool to analyze every part of your dreams because it's the real there are the real emotions and um, that in, in the daily life you you know our brain is it's a perfect machine so you're you are going to to put on site uh, bad thoughts and bad emotions so the song is talking about that mm. um, It's not very, very easy to, to explain, uh, but um, in Italian as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you dream a lot? Not a lot, but... Uh, I do a lot of nightmares. Oh. Mm. Does it wake you up at night? Yeah. What are these nightmares about? It depends. Uh, when I'm stressed or when, I'm, well, the last years were incredible and weird uh, at the same time. So uh, I did a lot of nightmares. Um, it depends. We we working with my um, therapist, with my 
psychologist to understand the meaning of mm. of my nightmares. Um, so it's a pr- private, yeah. <laughs> it's a private um, thing. But you know, I feel the dreams that d- dreams are. But not only me, Freud did it before, so <laughs> um, I didn't discover uh, the the meanings or, or to understand the dreams, no? And so that's it. Yeah, but yeah. it's very beautiful that you take the time to try and think about it, you know, to address it rather than just moving on, you know? I think mm-hmm. one must address their dreams and try to tease out, so well done to you. I really like to 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 think about it and and to have time to understand well uh, who I am. Mm. And Marco Mengoni is a complicated person, you know. I think when you rise, to, <laughs> no, really, I've been following you, Vanity Fair, Italia, among others, because you rose to fame and your life completely changed. And it's like you know, it's a different universe, it's a different realm. Everyone wants a piece of you, but you still seem so centered. I guess my question is this. How does Marco Mengoni stay calm and centered in this crazy world? I'm Marco Mengoni. I'm from a, a little town close and not far from Rome. And I grew up with my grandfather uh, in the middle of nowhere <laughs> uh, in, in, in nature. So. Uh, I'm always thinking about it, mm-hmm. you know, to to put to stay with my feet on 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 the ground, and 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 breathe a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste, like Francesco Gabbani. <sighs> yes. Beautiful. Like that meditation. Yeah, I like mindfulness and and breathe a lot. Um, but recently, I started mm. to do that. That before I was very super. Every time, uh, for a concert or for a TV show or for a show and uh, stuff like that, I was super nervous, mm. extra nervous. But I, you don't have to be nervous. No. You know, you are doing uh, maybe the most beautiful job in in the entire world. So, mm. why? Yeah. If you are going to make a mistakes, it's okay. You're a human. Mm. It's okay. Don't worry. Marco, go and enjoy. Yes. Oh, and we as the audience enjoyed Do A Vite at San Remo. And then you changed it a little. You decided to go back to the studio and rework things. Why did you do that? And do you think you're more comfortable performing the new version? I don't know, because I'm always doing that. Um, uh, my musicians ate me oh. <laughs> because every tour, every uh, concert, I I'm constantly say that maybe we have to change the, the, just the bass. You could put another another sound because it's too, you you know I don't like I don't really like this uh, this tone or or uh, another instrument or stuff like that. So I'm I'm continuously. In a, you know, like a evolution. Evolution. But because I like it. I feel alive mm. doing that. Yeah. No. It's okay. It is like yeah. that. For the rehearsals, I change all of the, the outfits. Every, every rehearsal, <laughs> rehearsal is different. <laughs> because I didn't decide, at least. Now, maybe I'm so, going to on your costume, actually, this was a lot of talk in the press room. People like sleeveless, showing your skin, bearing your soul. You know, if you were covered, you would be more guarded. But it's like an openness. Is that why you Absolutely. wanted to show the arms? Absolutely, Absolutely yes. And I work a lot on me because uh, before my feeling was like, I'm ugly. Mm. Uh, I don't feel like comfortable with, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, with all my clothes and on stage and I was very, okay, no, no, I have to cover me, I have to cover my body, I have to, because 
it's not good and, and mm. blah, blah, blah. So now I decided to stop it, mm. open to the world and, 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 and mm. I don't give a blah, blah yeah. to what people uh, maybe think or, or judge you, you know. This is really interesting to hear because I think your fans, journalists, they see you as someone very handsome, very stylish, always. And to hear that you too struggle with these issues. My question is this, admitting that, saying to yourself, I am okay the way I am, how long did that take? How did you get there? Because many people have this issue. <sighs> But I said before, I was very stupid. Mm. Uh, and maybe I'm still a little bit stupid because I was thinking about it. I was thinking about the judgment from other people. But we are all special in this world. So, and 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 you have a, you know, you have, you have your body, and your body is is beautiful. So maybe if you are not find a person who said like uh, you are you are gorgeous or, or, or I don't know maybe you have to change this person okay next <laughs> it's okay if you don't understand me and if you don't want to look at me like what I am I don't care it's okay I like that. Don't change your body, change the person. Exactly. Sayonara. Yes, yes. absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I gotta say, you're very spiritual. I, I've never met you in person before the turquoise carpet, but you have this energy. It's so warm. It's not a Hollywood diva. You know, it's not the... You are a San Remo superstar, but it's not the I own the Aristo, y'all back off. Humble, down to earth. Your grandfather, you mentioned him. Mm. Is he still alive? And does he love the man you've become? No, unfortunately not. He's still alive in my, my heart and my brain and my soul in every uh, step I take. And my memory, of course. And, but I don't know why, why I have to, to be, you know, you know like, uh, to feel like I'm, I'm a star, I'm a... I'm a, I'm just a human being and I like to to play and to sing and to go on stage and enjoy the life so uh, I like also to be sad mm. because it's important to be sad uh, like um, as to be happy we are just one life to live so do you think you create as well when you're sad as when you are happy? I like the part before, before falling asleep. Mm. I think it's the, uh, the best creative part of the, of the day to, to, I don't know what is happening in, in our brain, but there's something You're letting go, and you're still awake enough to remember. Yes, I have to, to immediately to, to, to take my phone and, 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 and record or, or write something. Uh, I'm, I'm always with my notebook on, on, the, on the side of the bed. So, um, yeah, you have to be quickly. Mm. Donatello, Leonardo da Vinci, All these thinkers, if they had that notebook, ooh, they would have slayed. <laughs> But look, I want to bring up a final question. Just bring it back to Eurovision and your stage show. Going into the grand final, when it's all done, what do you want Europe to remember about Marco Mingoni and your song? Me, <laughs> um, to remember that I'm a, I'm a musician and that uh, I like music and, uh, and I'm doing this job um, because really uh, it's 
one of my passions. So, uh, I don't know. Remember what do you want to remember? <laughs> I don't know, really. Uh, that I am who I am. Maybe just, just that. And the song too, maybe if you want to sing, if you want to remember the lyric. And I don't know, that. You are what you are and you are enough. Marco Mangoni, thank you for this chat. It was revelatory. We learned so much. <laughs> and we will leave calmer though. Because I think you remember people by how they make you feel. And I'm like, it's like I've been in the spa. I'm good to go. Yeah. I just feel so peaceful now. <sighs> <laughs> because we are doing something cool. Yes. A real so. conversation with a real human. Yes. Marco Mingoni, Duovit, San Remo champion, Eurovision alum, Eurovision 2023 singer, headed toward the top. We love you so much. Grazie I mille. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie a voi. Oh.